Jason Ryan, oh man, we've got one heck of a flip oh, out over the wall. And I'm not sure who that is, but by golly, we'll find out here in just a little bit. I can guarantee you that. He has went through the fence and over the wall. He's out of the car. Yeah, he's coming out of the car. We'll find out here in just a minute and let you know who that is. That was the 0-2 again of Bobby Tavis. Did about a two in for Renders and over the wall. Sean Foster here looking to the inside and looks like he is going to lead Vernon Kiever here on lap five. Kiever comes back around that outside. I'm sure Foster would love to get up in front of him. Don't know if that next three down is that fast, but boy, Jason Ryan has come up, I think, from 11th. Nair starts challenging for that second place. Runs up again, Heater again there. Heaver bobbles there coming out of two, and man, that is going to throw him back. The fifth spot, Sean Foster now your leader. Brad Heater and Jason Ryan both running hard in that second spot, putting the heat on. That lets Mike Ryan slide into that outside row, and I'm sure he's going to get second place. Man, what a battle here up front. Mike Ryan now gets that second spot, and he looks like he wants to take over first. John Foster still leads on lap 12. Three to go. Man, what a race. Look here. Here comes Darren Christie. He runs up beside Mike Ryan as they almost go into the corner three wide. Mike Ryan, I think, backs out of it. Says, we can't do this. 13 down. Flag's going to come out. John Foster's going to lead it here on the last lap. Kind of cuts down on the track just a little bit, I think, to kind of cut Mike Ryan off. Man, I mean, those guys are close. Not much room for error here. Sean Foster, Mike Ryan almost spins out. But here comes Darren Christie around the bottom. But it is Sean Foster with the win. Darren Christie second, Brett Heater third, Vernon Keeper fourth, and Mike Ryan in that fifth spot. Here we are at Lakeside Speedway, and I am with the winner of the factory stock A-Main tonight, Sean Foster. Sean, I'm going to tell you, man, first of all, what a race. I mean, man, you guys were at it. Yeah, that, that's the hardest I've ever driven. Uh, uh, the car started sputtering a little bit there, and I thought, oh, man, don't do this to me. You know, we're trying so hard to get meet our goals of two wins, and uh, we just uh, – that's the hardest I've ever driven, and it, it, it held on. You know, everybody ran me really clean. Uh, Brett and Bear and uh, Mike Ryan, they had their opportunities. Uh, they were going to have to hit me to pass me, and they didn't. So I, I got I to thank them. They ran me really clean. You know, uh, Tuesday night when we did that interview, uh, I've done several of these, and I'll have to tell you the truth. I'm not sure I've seen one where uh, you could see the intensity in your eyes and hear it in your voice. I mean, you guys really wanted this. You know, we've had a blast this year, and we set our goals, and, and we've done really well. But to fall short of a goal it, it, it would just be disappointing. So I think tonight, hopefully, we wrapped up the top five in points. That's their second win. That was our goal. We get to just come out here and have fun next week. So, uh, you know, having fun racing isn't too hard to do. So, but uh, yeah, this is this is a good time. This has been a great year. Okay, folks, there's your winner for the Factory Stock A Main here at Lakeside tonight, Sean Foster. Way to go, Sean! Right. Also, uh, I forgot to thank Jonathan and Don and and Brett last uh, earlier this week when we talked. So uh, they do a lot for me, and I, I sure appreciate everybody else that helps me out. Uh, thanks a lot. Folks, I don't think there's any way we can top that race we just saw, but I never cease to be amazed here at Lakeside Speedway. That's Luke Neiman on the pole. Brad Dibbon on the outside. That's Ben Kyle. Don Mars. Jeff Smith. And Darren Kling. That was your first three rows. And Bud Dibbon not going to bounce. <laughs> Brad Dibbins not going to 
mess around. He's going to jump right out to the lead here. And lead lap number one. Brad Dibbon slides up just a little bit in between turns one and two. And Mike Taylor Jr. comes down to the inside and takes over the lead and will lead on lap 14. Brad Dibbon now in second. Tim Shields in third. Brad Whitney fourth. Chad Clancy now has moved into that fifth spot. Now Tim Shields takes over second from Brad Dibbon. The Grand Nationals tonight, Tim Shields. Uh, Tim, we had a little camera problem there. <laughs> Missed the last four laps. I apologize for that. But uh, we thought we'd come down and talk to you. Uh, first win in the Grand National out here this year. Yep, first one this year. Uh, actually, I'd have just soon raced Mike for it <laughs> until he pulled off. I'm like, he pulls off. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> it would have been a lot funner to race with him on it, though. Yeah. Still uh, getting back in the groove, uh, picking up a win today. Yep. Well, he, we was doing a modified deal, and – that kind of fell through for a little bit. We bit up, so Gary Parker brought me over this car and said, here, just put a motor in it and go race with it. So, I was going to say, that's what I was going to ask you, whether this was your old car or just a new car. No, it's actually a different car. Well, the car's about 10 years old, I think. Really? Yeah, it's a rear stock stub car. So wow. uh, we just going to put a motor in it, come out and have a little fun with it. I'll be glad we did. Well, you still got, what, three or four weeks yet to have some more fun? Yep, we're going to, too. <laughs> okay, folks, there's your winner tonight at Lakeside for the Grand National Class, Tim Shields. Way to go, Tim. Thanks. Appreciate it. Ready to yeah, start the A main, and here's your lineup. That's John O'Neill Jr. in that eight. Mark Schaffman outside. Aaron Morant inside. Danny Charles. Tim Carrick. Danny Charles. I'm sorry. Joe Walker. And back in that next row is Kerry Davis. Uh, it looks like boy, Mark Schaffman has jumped out to a huge lead. Two points leaders in this points race. Up on the top, Danny Charles, who is in first place. Kerry Davis in that second spot. They're in third place. Confusing, huh? Tim Kerry makes a run by Kerry Davis. Terry trying to reclaim the spot, but I think Tim's got it. Lap 16, the side of Mark Schaffman's car comes off down in, going into turn one, and the yellow flag comes out. And I got a feeling that's going to cost him the lead. This young man this year running as consistent as he can in this new Evolution chassis. He comes and goes into turn three. Going to come out of four. A lot of fans happy about this one. Danny Charles, your winner. Tim Carey, Carey Davis, Aaron Morant, the old guy, Tom Charles, Jake Richards. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, <laughs> I know. I, I can't do me. this. <laughs> Danny, I'm sure this is probably one of the last things you want to do after the last four or five weeks. By the way, winner of the A main here tonight in the Modifieds at Lakeside Speedway, Danny Charles. But, man, the last five weeks have had to, have been a little bit pressing on you. Yeah, they absolutely have. It's been a rough go. You know, the Discovery people being here was good and bad. You know, they put a lot of pressure on you. But tonight it was good just to get back out here and relax and go for it. That's what I figured everybody probably settling down, getting back in the groove. Here's my main question for the night. You're running this new Evolution car tonight. Is it the driver or is it the car? But it seems like Danny Charles is uh, more competitive this year, uh, more consistent. What is it? Uh, tonight it was a little bit of both. We had the car really well. Uh, earlier this season I lost that car and I was in a backup. And uh, this is only my second race back with the car. And we nailed the setup. The car was excellent. Uh, everything fell right in the feature. And all we had to do is slug it out with Tim and we come out on top. I was going to say old dad got up to fifth, too, so it's a good night for the Charleses. Excellent night. You know, any night you put them home on the trailer without tearing anything up, it's a good night. But tonight was one of the nights I just – I've been concentrating on the championship so much, and I think I was concentrating a little too much, and I was driving a little conservative. And tonight I just said to hell with it, threw it out, out the window, and we got it on. Okay, folks, there's your winner again for the A-Mods at Lakeside tonight, Danny Charles. Great run, Danny. Thank you very much, and thank you for coming out here and doing these.